Tana Mojo has joined the Michaela conversation, and I can't even be surprised with the way everyone has been coming out of the woodworks to throw some shade towards her. I can't be surprised that Tana's also doing it. And Michaela is seeing it all, and she's throwing some right back to certain people, but we'll get into it. As for Tana, she was absolutely shook by Michaela's response to the whole drama, which was no response at all. Y'all, I'm sorry, but I aspire to be this level of unbothered. Worldwide mascara gate scandal, 50.2 million views, and the came back, no apology, didn't address it, and is reviewing a Huda Beauty setting powder. Come on, that's gold. I talked about this in my last video that after a week of letting the internet go wild over her sketchy mascara review, Michaela came back to say absolutely nothing more than let's do a Valentine's Day eyeshadow look, guys. I'm sure we all know why we've all gathered here today. It's the month of love. Anyone who knows me knows I'm not around on Valentine's Day, okay? Like these these eyeshadow looks are about the hit. We are hitting off the month of love with a banging eyeshadow look. She completely ignored all the drama and just went on with making content like normal, and it absolutely shook everyone, that's for sure. Tana later then decided to throw shade towards Michaela by actually sitting down to try the L'Oreal mascara for herself and literally put on fake lashes at the end in such an obvious way as to poke even more fun at Michaela's original video and try to do her accent. All right, guys, Mascara Gate has taken the internet by storm. And this is the first time that I really wish I had a podcast because the jokes I would make about this would be top tier. And I know it. But that's beside the point today. I feel like you guys know, you know, L'Oreal isn't paying me a dime. I tracked down the telescopic lift mascara and I'm going to be reviewing it for you guys today and telling you my honest opinion on it and if it really works. Tana's on it. Okay, that is what one coat looks like. Now at least my lashes are visible. But for me, it's always about the second coat. So I'm gonna let this fully dry and I'm gonna come back to you with the second coat on and give you my final, final thoughts. Game changer. Game changer. I just put on the second coat. It looks so beautiful, so natural, you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm tat! <laughs> and we know Tana isn't the first to make a comment that was shady towards Michaela. Everyone has been doing it. And even Tati Westbrook, you guys, joined the conversation. Seriously, I wasn't kidding when I said that it's felt like we've traveled back in time to the peak beauty guru era because all of the OGs are coming out of every little corner to be in this drama. Tati made a video deep diving into all of this mascara drama in a video titled Let's Talk Lashgate and Confronting Scammers. Tati spoke out about having wanted to stay out of the drama, but she felt like she really needed to step in here and talk about it. The TikTok YouTube wars that are like um, oh. the Hunger Games like are about to begin. And honestly, I thought it'd be really fun to use this mascara again today because you know, why not? Somebody used this We're, for a sponsorship and put on false lashes. Allegedly, but literally. Do you remember that period of time? I can't even believe that this is like drama. And I was like, I'm not gonna say anything about it. And then some other chick popped up like, boom. And she's like, it's fine to lie in sponsored videos. And I'm like, oh no, it is not. You know, th it is on. And like, it's ruffling all of our feathers a little bit. She talked about how she's not always wanted to take every offer she's received from brands because she wanted deals to be authentic. She even said she turned down a deal for a product, a mascara that she loved and had been promoting for years. And when they finally came to her with an offer, not only was it not a good offer, but she just felt like it wouldn't have been authentic of her to promote this product. She loved the product without payment and she really wanted to keep it that way. You probably mentioned it in a hundred mm -hmm. videos. You were evangelizing it. You would not shut up about it. And it wasn't sponsored. Everyone thought it was sponsored. But then, like a hundred videos later, L'Oreal pops up in your DMs. YouTube reaches out on behalf of L'Oreal and they want to make a commercial and they offered you peanuts. 
and mm -hmm. we're like really you want to run a pre-roll ad on youtube of uh, just a montage of tati talking about flash paradise anyway we said no uh and it wasn't even about the money it was just we didn't want it to take away the authenticity of all of your previous promotion because you'd spoken about it a hundred times it would mm -hmm. look so candid and contrived to all of a sudden turn that into a campaign and tati goes on to talk a little bit more about this because i feel like now when people hear something like that they're like well you love the product and everybody knew you love the product so they would have been so happy for you had you accepted a check from this company and you were finally getting paid for loving something and that would have been amazing but i feel like back then like a couple years ago or just like at the beginning of the beauty community really becoming a thing i think a lot of people would have really looked into it they would have been like oh my gosh was tati doing a deal this whole time was she always getting paid like under the table to say that she liked this mascara like what's going on i feel like people would have questioned it a lot back then because it was not strange for people to do brand deals, but it just wasn't as known or normal for influencers to do brand deals as it is now. And she even talks about how the whole culture of being an influencer online, especially in the beauty space, has really changed. And there is a lot of acceptance in doing brand deals which is why what Michaela did was so harmful because it definitely makes everybody else look bad and people wonder if they can trust people online after all this time of trying to gain that trust in the first place. Back in the day, if anyone took a sponsorship that so much felt like even a little bit like maybe they don't really like this, like we got jumped. Okay, like it was brutal. It was not fun. So there was a lot of push initially to break through to a place where influencers were actually like seen as okay to earn money. Now we're in this era of short form content where bless it, you can make some money doing like a minute long sponsorship, but we're all just kind of like, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. No one gives any pushback. So as much as I, don't wanna jump on that cancel culture train and like put someone down for doing what they're doing and being successful with it. I also think like there does need to be a flag raised of like, be authentic, do not lie. It makes us all look bad. Like all of us look bad. It's wild how Michaela has managed to round up all the original beauty gurus and have them all talking about her, but she's still seemingly unbothered or at least acting that way. and isn't even avoiding questions about false lashes. In recent videos that she's been doing, she's been wearing falsies and people keep asking her which ones she's wearing and she's told everyone what she's using and some are like, so is this like admission that you really did wear falsies in your ad or what? Someone said the Ardell Wispies look great here, girl. And she said, kiss lashes, Ardell. So is this the answer to what brand she was using in her mascara ad? Cause she's probably selling out that brand too. If so, maybe they should be the ones to do a brand deal with her because clearly she's rocking that product in that video. Regardless, Michaela is acting like she doesn't care about all that's happened and was even brave enough to throw a little shade at Jeffree Star. Jeffree has been posting with this new man of his and it's been a whole thing. We know Jeffrey loves to drag on the drama. And so he has been posting all of these photos, trying to hide his man while also giving hints that he is in the NFL and his team didn't make it to the Super Bowl. He's like laying little eggs and hoping that people will stir up a conversation about who this man really is. And while people have been trying to guess who this mystery man might be, there were some people that were joking that Jeffrey took Michaela's man while she was going through all this mascara drama. And so in her recent TikTok, she said that she was actually going on a brand trip with Glow Recipe this week and that they were all going to Wyoming. And she <laughs> said that she needed to make sure that these rumors about her man were not true. <laughs> Get ready with me to go to Wyoming. I gotta make sure my man's not actually there. You know what I'm saying? Obviously poking fun at the fact that people are like, um, that's Michaela's man with Jeffrey, even though there's just like no way. But anyway, Jeffrey's doing his Jeffrey thing and Michaela is definitely trying to stir the pot. And I wonder if Jeffrey is gonna have things to say about this since he loves to stay in the drama. But I certainly wanna know what you guys think about all of this, what Tana has said, what Tati said, and how Michaela is handling the whole thing 
What do you guys think about the comment that she left about the Ardell Wispies and her loving kiss lashes? Like, do you guys think that's her admitting that she was wearing kiss lashes in that ad? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys. Oh, my God.